A Korean actor, model, and a singer, Lee Joon Gi is often called a flower boy icon. He is also known as the charming prince of Sejuk dramas. He looks good in traditional Korean clothes and it looks as if he's born to bring history to life. He became very famous after his very first leading role in the King and the Clown drama movie. It's pretty an unusual historical that revolves around two male clown actors, one with masculine traits and the other with highly effeminate ones. Thanks to his great acting skills, the actor played a homosexual clown really well, which tremendously gave a boost to his popularity. However, after this film, he started to play more masculine roles to avoid typecasting. So now we are going to get to know some of the historical dramas that Lee Joon Gi played as a leading role. Number 1. The King and the Clown The King and the Clown is a 2005 South Korean Sejuk drama movie starring Kang Woo Sung, Lee Joon Gi and Jun Jin Yang. The story was taken from the 2000 stage play E about Yeon Sang Gun of Joseon, a Joseon dynasty king and a court clown who mocks him. This drama movie was released on 29 December 2005 and runs for 119 minutes. This was distributed domestically by Cinema Service and internationally by CJ Entertainment. It is sometimes called as the King's Man 2, which was the literal English translation of the Korean title. It is also known as the Royal Jester in English language, as the English translator of the movie found it more fitting than the original title. The movie was as South Korea's official submission for the 2016 Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. With over 12.3 million tickets sold, it was the most watched movie of South Korea of the year 2005 and it was ranked as the 80th highest grossing film in South Korea. Number 2. Iljime Literally the meaning is One Blossom Ranch. Iljime is a 2008 South Korean historical drama series starring Lee Joong Gi in the title role of Iljime. It is loosely based on the comic strip Iljime, which was written by Ko Wu Yang, based on Chinese folklore from the Ming dynasty about a masked Robin Hood-like character during the Joseon era. This comic was published during 1975-1977 time. Iljime drama was directed by Lee Young Suk and produced by Chorok Bem Media. It was telecasted on SBS in 2008 with 20 episodes. Number 3. Orang and the Magistrate This drama is also known as Tale of Orang. This is a 2012 South Korean historical television drama. Starring Lee Joon Gi, Shin Min Na, and Yoon Woo Jin. The period horror romance is based on folklore of Arang, who died unjustly and returns as a ghost in order to reveal circumstances surrounding her death. This drama was telecasted on MBC in 2012 with 20 episodes. Number 4 Gunman in Joshian Gunman in Joshian is a South Korean television series starring Lee Joon Gi, Nam Sang Mi, Jeon Hai Bin, Han Ju Wan, and Yu Oh Seon. It was aired on KBS 2 in 2014 with 22 episodes. The story begins in 1876 the third year of Emperor Gojong's reign, where it is a time of great upheaval and rapid modernization, with conflict brewing between the two leading political factions, the Shugu and the Keva. Park Yu Kang is the character played by Lee Jung Gi. He is the son of the last great sportsman of 19th century Joshian. 
after the tragic death of his father and the enslavement of his younger sister. Yung Kang creates his sword for a rifle as he embarks on a revenge mission and ends up becoming a hero for the people. Number 5. The Scholar Who Walks the Night The Scholar Who Walks the Night is a South Korean drama series based on manhwa of the same name written by Jo Joo Hee and illustrated by Han Seung Hee. The leading roles are played by Lee Joon Gi, Lee Yoo Bi, Shim Chang Min, Lee So Hyo, and Kim So Yoon. This drama was telecasted on NBC in 2015 with 20 episodes. Number 6 Moon Lovers This K-drama series is based on the Chinese novel Bu Bu Jing Sing. This was aired on 2016 on SBS with 20 episodes. This Seju Gram has performed well internationally and had over 1.1 billion views in China along with high ratings in Singapore and Malaysia. The drama has reportedly been sold for more than $400,000 per episode to the Chinese broadcasting station Yoku with a total $8 million and became the most expensive care drama ever sold. The record was beaten a few months later by a care drama called Man to Man. So we hope you love the video. Keep in touch with us to see this kind of videos in future. Love you all.